Hi and welcome to Zoom TV, the show where we explore everything that flies, drives and floats and take you along for the experience. On today's program, I'm going to show you one of the best Zoomaholics we've ever had on the show. And it's not this, the original GoGo -Go Mobile, it's much, much bigger. This Super Egg is our pride and joy. This is our way of giving back to the motoring enthusiasts. Last year, the highest selling manufacturer was Toyota, and one of their most popular models, of course, is the Toyota Hilux. Well, on today's program, we're going to take you inside their brand new model, which receives their updated engine. This is the first completely new Hilux in over 10 years, and it was made in Australia for Australians. Now, most Aussies would believe that Ford and Holden are the top two selling manufacturers in Australia. Well, they're not. Mazda currently is sitting at number two, which is why I'm so excited to introduce our new platinum partner today, Bayswater Mazda. We're just about to start up our quick service program, so you'll be able to come in for your logbook service, sit in and have a cup of coffee for an hour, and be on your way. Service done real easy. And our City Toyota celebrity hitchhiker is someone that's used to facing pretty tough competition. Well, on today's program, Mr. Danny Green, you might be facing your toughest yet. What is your opinion of the best car? I've got a, an XB, a 74 XB Falcon Coupe, and that's probably my favourite car. And of course, I'll be giving you all the goss on our three favourite live events happening around Australia involving things at Zoom, thanks to United Fuel Injection. Now, you better be ready because it's time to G.O. GGO, welcome to Zoom TV. I've got to tell you, we've had some pretty passionate enthusiasts on the show with some pretty awesome machines. But today's enthusiast is actually, well, a company that loves people that loves awesome machines. It's the Shannon's Insurance Super Rig. I've got to tell you, it's Aaron. absolutely Graham, how are you? Good, mate. I've got to tell you, this is a beast. Come on up and have a look. Graham, I tell you what, I've got to give you half a Zoom hug. Thank you, sir. Thank you for inviting me along. I'm going to kick it off with, you have a rig that, well, I'm very jealous of. This Super Rig is our pride and joy. This is our way of giving back to the motoring enthusiasts, saying, hey, come along, have a look through, enjoy what we've got to share, and have a chat with us about your passion as well. Let's talk about the company Shannon's Insurance. Why do you want to be out there? Because, Aaron, it's not just about insurance. It's about our love of vehicles along with everybody else. And we all love cars, bikes, tractors, anything with an engine. We've got the same passion as our clientele have at the same time. Now I want to find out, tell me what this thing is packing. This is packing a massive generator. So when we're out in the country sitting on an oval, we can still run our racing simulators here our interactive TV screens. Mate, we can even run the coffee machine in the kitchen. How did it all come about? Tell me about the actual truck itself. Walk me through it. In 2007, it was a vision of hire management to say, let's do something. Let's have a big truck. So they had the trailer custom built for us, got the truck involved, and then 2008, let's put it on the road. Let's take it to anywhere in the country that we need to put it. And it has been to every state it's been, as far as Darwin, Perth, Tasmania. They're not scared to put, put the truck on a boat and send it to Tasmania for events either. Okay, well, I never thought I'd say to a guy, you've got a great rig, but can I actually inspect your rig? You're welcome to come through our <laughs> Take rig. Take me through it, I've got to tell you. Honey, I'm home. This is cool. This is awesome. Come down and have a seat and we'll, we'll have a chat about what we've got here. After you, sir. Oh, I there love the, look, the petrol bowser. Workbench, this is like what you'd expect to see in the back of someone's house. That's exactly right, and we did design it around a 1950s, 1960s garage, because it's what people can relate to. So I'm guessing when you take this to an event, people can just come through, 
They can play with games. At the front, you've got some simulators out there. Yeah, people can come through. We've got lots of mini movies on these screens. They're all touch screens, right down to our original GoGo mobile advert. I saw the old GoGo on the way in. That's a cool car. The one thing I like about Shannon's is the fact that you don't just encourage the customer to interact with you. You encourage customers to interact with each other. So you're actually building, I suppose, a network that people can actually access. And when you're restoring a car or when you're looking for advice to get a car fixed or you're just looking for someone to give you a, a pointer, well, you're putting them in touch with each other. Most definitely. And it got to the stage with that that we introduced the Shannon's Club to the internet. And it's like a Facebook for cars. Yeah. And it's fantastic because we're enabling people to contact each other and ask each other questions and just show off their pride and joy. Now, Graham, I'll tell you what, I might just get on board, but before I do, I'm gonna ask you a couple of questions. Just wanna test you out, just wanna feel you out, okay? How many cars do you think were sold brand new within Australia in 2014? You had a wild guess, I'd say probably around a million. Just over a million cars, you are correct, sir. Second question, the big one, how many do you think the leading manufacturer sold within Australia in 2014? They'd have to have a fifth of the market, Aaron, so let's go 200,000. Just over 200,000 as well. I'll tell you what, you're going to be my new buddy. Well done. And you will have to accept me. Now, after the break, we're going to check out Toyota's new Toyota Hilux, thanks to City Toyota. That's coming up next on Zoom TV. <laughs> With over six years in the making, a $1 billion spend on R&D, over a million kilometres travelled globally, a new engine, greater towing capacity and a raft of accessories, this is the all-new 2015 Toyota Hilux. This go-anywhere, do-anything legend has been a part of our motoring lives for over 30 years. And when they release an entirely new car, well, that keeps the folks at City Toyota pretty busy. This is the first completely new Hilux in over 10 years. It's the Toyota Hilux SR5 automatic 2.8 litre turbo diesel. And it was made in Australia for Australians. Toyota has over 150 Australian based engineers. They make one Hilux engineered for rugged countries like Australia and another model for the rest of the world. The theory is if it can survive Australia, it can survive anywhere. This model was thrashed over 650,000 Ks of the toughest terrain Australia could throw at it before being released. And the result is fantastic. And when we say all new from the ground up, that's exactly what we mean. This isn't just an old platform that they've rejigged a little bit. Have a look at this. See this Toyota decal? This is the only thing from previous models to make it into this brand new 2015 car. Inside all new Hilux is pretty special too. It set a new standard altogether, and not just for Toyota, but for all manufacturers who would dare to enter this segment in competition with it. There's an iPad type touchscreen on the dash, which we love. There's, of course, the air conditioning, power steering, cruise control, all the mod cons, and a best in class seven airbags standard across the entire range. There's even a beautiful little cooler here in the dash, which is fed by the air conditioning to keep your water and soft drinks icy cold. Nice touch. There are quite a few model variants from which to choose. There are narrow and wide body versions, as well as single, double and extra cab styles. The range starts with the 4x2 Workmate single cab chassis 2.7 litre petrol and steps up to the SR and SR5 grades. Towing capacity is now up to 3,500 kilograms for manuals and 3,200 kilograms for the auto models. Whichever variant you choose, they're all looked after by the team here at City Toyota. Well, Wayne, with this new model, we are absolutely spoiled for choice. That's right, Alan. Actually, it's been released with 31 variants in the range. Oh. The 4x2, a 4x4, but also a brand new series in the High Rider model. Tell me about that, if you don't mind. So the High Rider is a 4x2, so it actually looks like a 4x4 from a distance. Sits up higher on the road. 
obviously with a, a cheaper price tag and great fuel economy as well. And your award-winning service department, both here at uh, Northbridge and of course in Netherlands, are more than capable to service whatever make or model, yeah? So we've got this Toyota service advantage, so it's a fixed price service, and the Hilux comes with $180 fixed price service for each service through that warranty period. Three fast facts, we've already touched on servicing, so let's go to warranty. So the warranty is covered by three years and 100,000 kilometre warranty. And fast fact number three, uh, your favourite feature, Wayne, what do you think? My favourite feature is the new iPad looking touchscreen. It's fantastic, so it's got plenty of features there and really easy to navigate. And it looks fantastic. The quality is terrific. You've got digital audio radio in there. Everything. It's wonderful. Everything's integrated into that one package with great big buttons, easy to use. If it's Toyota sales, service, finance and advice, it's City Toyota, Stirling Highway, Netherlands and Newcastle Street, Northbridge. Go to citytoyota.net.au. Coming up after the break, I'll introduce you to our brand new Platinum Partner and find out why driving's better at Bayswater Mazda. Quick fast fact, in 2014 Mazda was actually the third most popular manufacturer of new vehicles, selling more than 100,000 vehicles in Australia. In 2015 they currently sit number two. Now Dion, who would have thought Mazda would achieve bigger sales than the likes of Ford and Holden? Yeah, quite an incredible fact Aaron, I couldn't agree with you more. I guess part of the reason is we've got a great range of cars. So we've pretty much got a car in every single segment right through the range. And our value for money equation versus a lot of the other manufacturers in the market just make them in sensational buying. Well I guess if you look at the facts, people go out, the first thing they're going to look at is price, value for money. Second thing is styling. Third thing is performance. Mm -hmm. But one of the most important things that people are looking at now is the weekly running cost of a car. Mm. Which means that Mazdas must be, well, achieving some great economy. Our cars are jam-packed full of technology. So we have things like Sky Active technology in all our cars. And basically that's a fuel saving technology that drives your dollar further, so to speak. So you'll come to a set of lights, your car will shut down. That's saving your fuel. In other words, saving your money in your hip pocket. Really, really good technology right through the range. Okay, and then obviously exterior styling. You can see when you're near the new Mazdas, they're all similar but they're all very unique as well. I think one of the reasons why Mazda's so successful is the design of their cars is, is something a bit unique in the market. They all look sporty, whether they are or not. So their design language that they carry right through the range, right from the Mazda 2, right through to the BT50, very, very similar. And people just love the look of our cars. Okay, well, we're excited to announce that you guys have come on board as a platinum partner. So over the coming weeks, we're gonna be driving through the range. Out of the range, what would be one of your most popular cars? Look, our most popular car at the moment, I guess small and medium SUVs at the moment are a real hot property. So our CX-3 and CX-5 are probably our two main cars that we're consistently running out of. And that's because they're a great car around town, they're very, very versatile and practical, and they're also still sporty looking, which is pretty rare. Okay, now we're getting familiar with your range, we're also going to get familiar with you guys, because it's not just important that you choose the car you want, but the deal you buy it from. Absolutely. So what are we going to find out about Bayswater Mazda? I guess in addition to the great range of new cars that we've just spoken about, uh, we've also got a fantastic range of used vehicles. All makes, models, price ranges, everything's catered for. On top of that as well, um, most people are financing their car in some way. We've also got some great rates on finance. And of course we have our service department. So we're just about to start up our quick service program. So you'll be able to come in for your logbook service, sit in and have a cup of coffee for an hour, and be on your way. Service done real easy. Okay, it doesn't get any easier than that. I'll tell you as I explore your premises, what do you reckon? Sounds great. Now, if you would like to find out why driving is better at Bayswater Mazda, jump onto their website, bayswatermazda.com.au. If you're passionate about anything that flies, drives or floats, there's no better place to feed that passion than attending a live event. Thanks to United Fuel Injection, the only place to get more talk out of your diesel, here are our three favourite live events happening around the country. Halloween is almost here and in the West, things are going to get a little bit spooky at the West Coast Lowdown Hello Weird. 
This event is definitely something to experience with live bands, burlesque shows, pinstripe demos, street artists, and of course, the craziest hot rods, choppers, and plenty more. They've even flown in a group of master pinstripers all the way from Japan, and you can get a masterclass in this amazing art form. So come down and get your weird on on Friday the 30th or Saturday the 31st of October at the Cool Room Gallery in Burswood, WA. In New South Wales, it's your chance to see and compete in a great show and shine while raising money for the kids through the Queen of Hearts Community Foundation. Open to all makes and models of hot rods, classics, cruisers, low riders, muscle cars, exotics and car clubs from all over Australia. It's only $20 to enter your vehicle and there's great prizes up for grabs. Plus, all money raised goes to charity. Entry's free, so come down and enjoy all the fun on Saturday the 31st of October at the Henry Sports club in Warrington County. And in Victoria, the locals are all banding together to raise money for the local football team in Turidan, and they're doing it with style. This show and shine is crammed full of hot rods, muscle cars, classics, cruisers, and more bikes than you can handle. It's a fun family event that raises much needed funds for a great community. And if you enter your vehicle into the show and shine, you could take home one of the great prizes on offer. There's gonna be raffles, food and drink, and free kids entertainment. So get down to Rudder Park Memorial Reserve on Saturday the 31st of October and help a great community. So they were our three favourite live events happening around the country thanks to United Fuel Injection. Now if you've got an event coming up, we'd love to give it a plug. All you've got to do is go to the website zoomtv.com.au and submit your event. Now you're never going to believe it, but this is the original 1959 Go-Go Mobile as made famous by the Shannon's Insurance commercials. And I've got to tell you, you wouldn't want to own one if you were claustrophobic. After the break, however, I take on the real green machine, Danny Green, for this week's Zoom TV Celebrity Hitchhiker, thanks to City Toyota. That's coming up after the break. Now, during the break, I'm going to be taking it for a spin. I've just got to work out how to start it. Aaron, I told you you can't drive it. I thought you said I could. I've got my license, Graham. You haven't got a go-go mobile license. I haven't got a go-go mobile license. I didn't read the small print now. I tell you what, could you take me for a drive? Have you got one? Let's go. I tell you what, I'll get out. Oh, actually, maybe I'll just slide over. Welcome back to Zoom TV. Now, as I said at the top of the show, I'm here with a very special celebrity hitchhiker, Danny Green. How are you, mate? Good to see you again, mate. How are you? Well, mate, I'm good. I've come down to this awesome place, the Grid Bar, and they happen to have an awesome mate, so I thought I'd take advantage of it and just... Uh, we'll talk to you about your career first. How did Danny Green start? Oh, I didn't know I was going to be... I didn't know I was, you know, was going to, I guess, get to where I got to today, so... I just loved it. Ever since I was a young kid, I always looked at, you know, they watched the flights on TV. My old man used to take me to watch the flights at the pub when I was younger. And, um, you know, I used to watch the, the Golden Era, Muhammad Ali, and before that, obviously, but the Golden Era with Roberta Duran, Sugar Ray Leonard, Tommy Hearns, and, uh, and Marvelous Marvin Hagler. And uh, I just fell in love with the sport from then. And, you know, the press conferences, they'd be dressed impeccably in their suits, and then the weigh ins, they'd be in impeccable physical condition. They'd put on these incredible fights. I thought, oh, man, I want to do that. That's what I want to do, but I didn't realise I'd, I'd gravitate towards it. And, uh, you know, 25 years later, here I am. Wow. Now, if someone at home admired your career and just said to themselves, I want to be a Denny Green, I mean, that's where it kind of starts. People want to be their heroes. How would they know that they had what it, what, what it takes to be a professional fighter? Oh, it's a tough question. You know, there are a lot of guys out there that, are, that were blessed with more skill than I had. I was lucky enough to be born with, you know, big mitts and heavy bones, so I've been able to, you know, have a good punch. So you, you're born with a good punch, and that's been, that's been a blessing for me. Uh, there's a saying, having a good chin, so having, you know, the ability to withstand punishment is also good. Probably the key ingredient is have a few, a few screws loose, and then, you know, m you know, match the pieces up from there. I want to ask you the fast five. Are you ready for that? Let's go. Okay. Now, what was your first car you ever owned? It was a Gemini, an SL 1974 Isuzu motor, 1600, four speed, and uh, I have a lot of good memories from that car. So what's your opinion of the worst car ever made? Well, I see Porsches. I see a bloke in a Porsche with the lid off. He thinks he's killing it. He's roaring down the freeway. <laughs> and everyone else is looking at him like, you're driving a Porsche with no lid, mate. You don't look that hot. Moving on to the next question, what is your opinion of the best car? So if you saw a car in the street or the car that you always wanted, if you haven't got it already, Oh, man, there's so many. I'm, I like the old school cars. 
So um, um, I've got a, an XB, a 74 XB Falcon Coupe, and that's probably my favourite car. Now, what is the car you currently drive? Uh, Ford Ranger, Macca and my mate Macca. Um, obviously, has, um, has been a, I've been affiliated with Dennis for, geez, since 2001. The final question, what is your biggest fear? I guess my kids, you know, my, be, being, being a father of two young kids, but knowing that my son and my daughter are going to be out in the big bad world on their own soon, that does terrify me. So I want to challenge you to something. There's always a challenge I like to chuck out at people like yourself, celebrity hitchhikers, because I like to challenge myself. <coughs> let's, let's use the grid bar to even things out. Are you up for the challenge? Yeah, mate, I am. I'm going to take on the competitor, Danny Green, as we race around in one of the grid F1 racing cars. You ready for that? Game yeah, on, mate. Oh, now we're punching. Ready to go. I'm in my Gemini, mate. Okay. Right. You're in your Porsche. <laughs> Sorry, the disc talk just keeps coming. Okay, headphones on, guys. Keep it on the track, Danny. Keep it on the track. <laughs> hey, you just keep your car on the track, mate. I'm ready. Set, go. I right, see ya. Mate, your Gemini is going to get it. Are you using your accelerator? Yeah, yeah, I am. I can't see you, mate. You're that far behind. No, no, I'm close. I'm right there. Oh, oh. Mate, seriously. Right at the end. You just bring it out right at the end, but uh, in all fairness, you won. The milky bars are on you, mate. Thanks, mate. Thank you, you know very much. You win. Well, no one's going to beat a boxer, especially. He's mate, like... No one's going to beat Danny Green. <laughs> oh, you can't say that, can you? No one's going to beat Danny Green. No one. I'm not that Can silly. Can it out? <laughs> oh, mate, that was a lot of fun. I'll tell you what, everyone's got to have a go in a go-go mobile. Thanks very much, Graham. Now, I hope you've had fun on today's program. If you want to know more, go to our website, zoomtv.com.au. And don't forget, if you've got an event coming up, we'd love to give it a plug. All you've got to do is click on the Get Involved tab, tell us about the event. We'll give it a plug. You never know, we might even come along. Thanks to Shannon's. What do you reckon? Mate, I'll be there. We'll talk about that. We'll talk about that. Now, don't forget, whatever you do this weekend that Zooms, make sure you do it safe. Now, it's time to go. What can I say? G O G G O. Oh, that is smooth. That is a beast. And we're not going anywhere. And that's a wrap.